So it is the day after Christmas. I am going to take down the Christmas tree. After the kids went to bed, which was late because family was over, I spent a lot of time yeah. storing all the toys away so that we can kind of spread them out and get them so they're not all given at once because it's too much. So I kind of cleaned already. But this is about putting all the Christmas decor away. And let's see if this is possible with these two kids. And my husband is sick. He is in bed. He cannot get out. I feel so bad. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna put all the ornaments in here. And if it doesn't have a top, I'll probably just throw it out. Anyways, I am the type of person that just, once Christmas is over, once like a birthday is over, once a holiday is over, I'm over it. I was really mad that like I'm over um, Christmas, not only because like I get like that over the like, after the holidays are over, but I'm just feeling social media has made people rush Christmas. Like before social media, it would really be after Thanksgiving. And um, don't get me wrong, I am the type of person that likes to put up the tree a little bit earlier. But when you're on social media and in the stores and everything, everyone just like feels the pressure to like start decorating, doing Christmas things like way before Christmas even comes. So I feel like it's been Christmas for like over two months, like since after Halloween. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's really about the birth of Jesus and I'm not even gonna lie for me, it doesn't feel like that, even though I know it should be. Um, but fun fact, I feel like Matt and I looked up um, when the actual birth of Jesus was and it says something like April. <laughs> My love language is gift giving. I am, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do love gift receiving, but gift giving is just my love language. I don't know if love language is like annoying to anyone, but if it's a thing, I'm definitely a gift giver. Like, I love it. Um, but this year, Matt and I were really trying to budget, and so for most family, we kind of focus more on the kids because it's like more fun to give kids gifts, anyways. Um, and even though we obviously got our kids gifts, like. I was actually starting to be overwhelmed. You know what I mean? Just like, it's just so many gifts that they go from this to this to that and they get bored faster. And so I, what I ended up doing is like, they actually didn't open up all of their gifts because um, I just wanted, I didn't, I didn't like how they were just like jumping from one to the other. It was like overwhelming. So I have a whole stash of gifts from that we gave and that um, other family members gave that are just gonna be in our closet. But it's kind of nice because I did that for Jerry's second birthday party. He got so many gifts. And over this year, uh, span of a year, I literally gave them out slowly. Like, so for, for example, if Matt and I were traveling somewhere um, and my parents were watching the kids or something, we would give them a gift to kind of like keep them occupied and stuff. Um, so that's just like a really fun way to spread them out for them to appreciate it more um but you know there are some common things obviously we leave out all the time that they always play with and same with the christmas gifts like i didn't put all of them away the ones that they were already really playing with and obsessed with we we obviously left out but um yeah that's uh what i have my little spiel about christmas and why i also really like to put them the, the <laughs> tree down and um, that's what I'm doing today. Apparently it's also called Boxing Day or something. I don't know if that's like a Canadian thing or if I just made that up in my mind. But, okay. So I'm actually gonna put all the ornaments in here, including the big ones. I feel like that'll just be easier. So let me put the big ones in there first. I made these with our boys. They're so cute. Spring flower. So I took the top one off and these things hurt. I've actually seen people Wearing arm covers because they kind of like gloves or whatever. But it's really nice. My kids are actually coloring below me, being really good right now. Just very helpful when their daddy's sick. They're not having any trouble. Ow. Do you want me to open that? Here you go. Yes, these just kind of collapse. But I have to like. Kind of put them together. The lights are already in the evening, which is really good. But then you just be extra careful that you don't accidentally like, I don't know, break them. So I'm just trying to like squeeze 
these together because the box that it comes in always looks way too small. Even though that's the box that it came in, it just looks like impossible to fit it in the box. Are you helping mommy put the tree away? Yeah. Thanks, baby. Can you walk cats? No. I mean, some people walk cats. Ooh, I'm like sweating. This is going to hurt, but I'm just going to hug it. Ah. So it all goes down. Ooh. So scratchy. You know what, I will say, I love the look of a real tree in the house, I mean, obviously. Woo, I know, that was so nice. Are you sure? I always thought those little really heavy. sleeve, yeah, this one's really heavy. Sleeve things for the tree was a little silly, but no, I kind of wish I had. Maybe I can just, oh my gosh, am I getting scratched from this? I kind of am. I could have just worn my long sleeve, but you know when you just move around a lot and you start to get really hot? Yeah. Oh my gosh, some of these were never even like fluffed. Maybe that for next year, we'll do it like, normally we put the whole tree up and then we start to um, flip these or whatever you call it. Maybe next year we'll just do one at a time because I'm noticing a lot of areas that were not touched up. If you hear a train in the background, it's because we got a life-size train. Well, you know what I mean by life-size. <laughs> we're a toddler. And so the sound doesn't go off unless you wow. literally click the button. Keeps playing. Did you have fun this Christmas, Jerry? Was Christmas fun this year? Yeah. yeah. What is Christmas about? What is Christmas about? <laughs> the birth of Jesus. Oh, you know what? Today maybe we'll do the birthday cake because we forgot to yesterday. Yeah. Something my mom likes to do. What's a cake? It's, it's on the counter, is make a cake, which I did. We just never got to it because of time, just yeah. how things work. Yeah, yeah. Put candles in it, yeah. and then, um, good job, thank you for sharing. It's so nice. And that's this apple. Yeah. Oh, can you put the ornament in that bag for me, please? Thank you, you're being so nice. Yeah, and then we'll put candles in it and say happy birthday to Jesus. Okay. Because it's Jesus' birthday. But I'm he loves, but he loves, yeah, but he loves when we love others and gift others. And I gotta eat some bread. <laughs> You're so cute. We'll do that when Daddy's feeling better and wait till he wakes up, okay? Okay. Because we don't want to leave Daddy out. He's sick right now. Yeah. When you see Daddy, you gotta say, do you feel better, Daddy? Oh, okay. I hope you feel better. Is this fall? Oh. Is this fall? Fall? Um, I mean, kind of, I don't think actually it's winter yet. I think it's almost winter. Actually, I think tomorrow's the first day of winter, if I'm not mistaken. Today's the 26th. And it, it, I remember we looked up, what's the first day of winter? Matt, will, Matt and I will always ask serious and random questions. Or Google. Yeah, it's, I think it is still fall, actually, Jerry. Yeah. When the leaves fall from the trees. Yeah. And when it's in the turn into fall. Mm-hmm. So they're probably gonna get tossed. So way too much clutter in here. Did you take this off? Because it makes it harder to put the tree in there.
piece of cardboard actually really helped. What'd you find there? <laughs> You're helping me? do. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> or he's mocking me. One or the other. Ouch! Hate when I do that. Clip your hands in the tripod. One time from, I think it was from Walmart. I found you found the slime? Yeah. I will not with slime because once it gets in your clothes and if you don't take it out right away, it will remain there forever. So yeah, this is a bag for wreaths. I think it comes in handy. I think I'm gonna put all of the obviously the wreaths in there and then the garland. Even the lights. What was in here? Oh, I think I just gonna put some. Take it apart, okay? That's great. All the 
reeds and the garlands. Oh, this was supposed to go in the wreath thing. Honestly, I might get rid of these. See, I used to make wreaths and I need to do it with this, but I might get rid of these. They're from the Dollar Tree. I just never use them. They're always in my kitchen. So. I didn't use these lights either, but that doesn't mean I won't use them next year. I know that I'll probably use them next year. This kind of stuff I didn't really use because it's a little bit more on the tackier side, but I have nothing as tacky. I am very tacky many times. I don't know. Maybe I should put some. I don't know. I, I really didn't even use them at all. I actually might throw these out because they're kind of like... Every time I take it out, like all everything comes apart anyway, so I think I might just trash that. All coming apart. And I had like tape on it and everything. <sighs> Plastic song. Just going through everything. Oh, this is where the other wreath was. I gotta put that in the wreath bag. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go upstairs so I can get the boys' Christmas trees down, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So this is Jerry's, because he has the Mickey Mouse theme still. Let's just go ahead and bring that. He has a little tree here. It's supposed to be way the poo, but he was starting to break all the ornaments that were on it. These are the trees. Why? I don't like you get a life. I know, it's not Christmas anymore. It is Christmas. No. Christmas is over. So two years in a row we did Mickey Mouse as a theme, but honestly I have a feeling that his room is gonna change within this year. Because his likes change all the time. He's currently really into the ladies. If you guys know that from Amazon Prime and Paramount Plus. They're re literally wrestling each other right now. And I can only imagine it's going to get worse in the future. But they're, neither of them are like complaining. Like, I would get it to them if they were upset. These are little Mickey LED lights. They're cute. I got them from some sort of like tree event. I don't know. There's these. This I got from Five a long time ago. It's starting to not hold up, so I might. I'm wondering if I should just throw this away. I'm not really into this super splashy tinsel anymore. So I hope that if you're still watching this, you're doing something with me too. <laughs> because I mean, it's cute. I'm a good way. Whenever I, um, I actually prefer while I'm doing stuff that takes a long time. Like for example, when I was wrapping gifts, I prefer to watch someone else wrapping gifts or doing something um, like the Doggerty Dozen. She does a lot of like no edit videos and I actually like those. They like kind of company. Whereas like a video where it's like more engaging and they're doing stuff and it's edited, I don't really want to like listen to them in the background because I want to see it. These are obviously way simpler and they don't really prick as much. These are just the really cheap five below. Christmas trees. Am I doing it the wrong way? I think I'm doing it the wrong way. Because those things, if you lose them, you can't even. I try, I lost one one year and I tried to remake it through, with cardboard. <laughs> take about Santa. So it's kind of a unique one. Um, I know, I feel like you're either for Santa or you're, uh, or you're not for Santa. Um, so growing up, I did believe in Santa a little bit, I guess. My older sisters were kind of the ones that played on it. Matt grew up obviously loving and believing in Santa. Um, our kids don't, but here's the thing. Um, Christmas is supposed to be about Jesus, right? But it, it, because of the way the world is, even as a believer, it's hard for it to really feel like it's about Jesus just because yeah. the world makes it about Santa and stuff like that. So um, 
here's what we do. It's not like we don't allow Santa in our like um, house or Santa de decorations. Santa to me, so sometimes when we see Santa Claus, we'll just be like, look, it's Santa. But we don't tell our kids that like Santa's the one that comes in our chimneys. I don't go around telling my kids like Mickey Mouse isn't real, Big Bird isn't real. So I don't feel like I have to say Santa isn't real. I just don't go as far as be like, Santa does this, Santa does this, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. We can still have fun with Santa things. So sad about this because I made these um, before Sam could like crawl and stuff. These cute little ornaments, but they're glass and this one's missing an ear. So they're just not practical for the kids because look, they break like that and that's really dangerous. So I'm just throwing this whole bag away even though I worked so hard on it. Okay, so here's all the ornaments below and then I'm just putting star toppers on there. So I guess I'll just also put a tree skirt and I use this as a topper for the other, well, maybe I'll take the hat out. So I'll put these two little trees in there too. It's all like Christmas tree stuff. Okay, these are our Christmas stockings and we didn't put anything in the, well, that's a lie. I did put this in there because it's easier to find. We don't have like a mantle, so I thought it'd be cute to at least go in the fireplace, but I put those little hooks. I'm probably gonna take them off because now look, they're like very, very visible. So, so it would have been kind of tricky to drill a hole in them. I think all the paint didn't come off. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this with like the ornaments because they're kind of light. And yeah. I got them from Etsy. Okay, so I have a feeling the kids are not gonna be happy when I put this away, but it has to be done. So we didn't put this around the tree um, because we wanted the kids to actually play with it. So put it away. I don't think I have all the pieces. I think I have most of them. Just took a massive break and now it is 2 10. Put the boys down around 1 p.m. So um probably give them around like three. So I have these little Christmas village things. Oh my gosh. They always put these little things on the bottom where the candle's supposed to go. There we go, it was a little sea lion. <laughs> Definitely gonna check all of them. Oh my gosh, they all have something in them. I wish you could like open these. That one thing out, it's someone holding snowballs. Oh, and the other one came out. It's like a little lamp post. Okay, so these are good. These boys, I swear. What? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, nothing because there's a sticker on the bottom. <laughs> a few things in this one. There we go. Oh my gosh. It kept going like this, that's why. All right, so. Here's some Christmas books I got from Jerry's room. Oh, some more ornaments. These aren't the glass kinds. These are, oh, I've had this for years. I'm pretty sure it's like hardened. Oh, see, this is glass. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. These are some cards. So I'll put all the boxy stuff in here, like the frames. I didn't do Christmas cards this year. I literally had no time. I don't think I'll put these in there. I feel like everything, like pictures or boxes, like, makes more sense for this. Cute. We made this at Home Depot with the kids. Jerry painted this gingerbread house. These are all the Christmas villagers in here. So I'm gonna keep that. Just don't know where to put it. The train. I could probably still keep this because it doesn't have to be Christmassy. This is the train in a tin. So all this is kind of like Christmas villagey decor. Put in here. Put in there. Some more 
My kids just love to like stuff these for some reason. Ugh, put them all the way at the bottom of this. At least this one isn't as difficult, I don't think. Even though the hole is smaller. Okay, no, this is challenging. I don't even know how they put these in here. <laughs> just really want to get these little villagers out. Or these little things. Oh, yep. Now they're coming out. I have no idea how the kids stuck them in here. They probably really have to force it out. Just have a bunch of random stuff. These starry lights. I just don't think I would use these again. This is cute, but didn't wear it. Eh, I don't like this either. Sorry for some low in energy. <laughs> but, um, oh, these cute Mickey lights. They could just go in Jerry's room in general. Because they're not Christmassy. So I'm going to keep these lights. But you guys should comment down below when you guys start putting your de decor down. Or if it's something you dread doing. Which I kind of dread this. But at the same time, I'm like so ready for it to be over. That I, I'm motivated enough to like get it started. Because I just feel like I totally understand if you're the type of person that just leaves a tree up. Because it just takes too much effort. I get it. Definitely get it. So that way if I do it like as soon as I can in one day, then I won't like put it off. You know what I mean? All right, this is the dreaded craft room. So this is where I <laughs> um, went berserk with like Christmas wrapping and stuff. Okay, I started cleaning and I forgot to hit record. So my kids are on the couch. Look how crazy this looks. Kids on the couch eating goldfish. While I try to organize. I actually do, I'm um, very, very, what's the word? I just like to save things. I don't just like to like throw it out. <laughs> what? You want more oranges? Mm -hmm. I gave them three oranges oh. total. <laughs> Say orange. Orange. Yeah. And they still want more. I gave them goldfish, which I, uh oh, I really thought they would like those more after the three oranges, but Son kept pointing at the peel because he can't really completely talk yet. He can actually say a few words though. He wants to eat the peel. It is, no, he doesn't want to eat the peel. He does. Update on that, it's 3.56. He no, still felt sick. He's been up all day. It was so bad for him, but he took a shower. Yeah, she always wants to be with us. And then he's finally going to come down and try to attempt to eat some broth. So, I don't, I wouldn't typically say that I love cleaning, but I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of find a lot of peace in, like, organizing and stuff. I really like it. And then for some reason, when I do stuff like this, my kids are really well behaved. Like, they just like to be near me. So they like to just play and, um, I mean, sometimes they'll make messes out of this stuff, but so far they haven't been. I was really easily able to put everything away. So. Did you give me a lot? Did you give me a lot? Oh, I give you a lot, a lot. Yeah. Okay, so I still haven't given away all the Christmas gifts. <laughs> fine. Smell of orange, you know. That's actually one of my favorite scents is orange. Love it. Love it. Like I have orange shampoo, orange scented shampoo and body wash. If they had like an orange perfume or something, let me know because I would totally go over that. I just love that citrusy smell. It just feels it smells so fresh to me. I buy all my wrapping paper from Dollar Tree because they actually have a lot of cute ones. Maybe you don't get as much wrapping paper as you would another. Oh, well, I did, this one I noticed from Dollar Tree. If it's like a brand, like a recognizable brand like Baby Shark 
or like Mickey Mouse, they don't give as much of the wrapping paper, but I feel like that's normal for certain stores. Like this, I remember getting it from like Target like two years ago, it's still a bunch. And then the generic ones, like this dinosaur one isn't a brand. And I noticed that it has way more wrapping paper than like the Mickey Mouse one, if that makes sense. So just something I noticed. Hey. Why is Lola in the box? I don't know. I like to keep a lot of boxes, um, specifically for the gift giving aspect. Like this is cute, the Elmo, but like if something is on it, so this has Elmo slide on it, I have to make sure the person know like, oh, it's not what you got. All right, so it is no longer Christmas in here. Oh, and if you're curious what this thing is, I didn't even explain it the whole time. It's actually really, really cool. Um, so you put this little, this was like our gig, big gift to Jerry. So it's a huge ramp. Okay, put the monster truck in there. And you wind it. And then... Whoa! It's really cool. <laughs> you wanna try too? All right, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, please let me know if you enjoy videos like this where there's like no edits. I'm just doing boring mundane things. And I will do more. Talk to you another time. Oh, and Matt is feeling better. He came down just to eat some broth, but I didn't sit well with him. <laughs> Even that. I think it's like a 24-hour bug. <sighs> Poor baby. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow he'll be good. Bye.